Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Come here. What is it? You don't look like a fledgling. Billy, how you doing, buddy? Hey, how are you doing? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that was pretty embarrassing, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, everybody's eating hay. What is Java doing? Java, what are you doing down there? Yeah, you like to lie down and eat, don't you? <laughs> Hi, Ritzy. Hi. How are you this morning? Mark here and welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. As you can see behind me, there are some dark clouds coming in. We've had some rain this morning. Uh, we're not expecting the kind of rain that we've received this spring with flooding. I believe that is all now behind us. The kids are back outside. They were inside this morning as it was raining. Uh, so they're outside taking advantage of, uh, of it not raining. <laughs> uh, we've got, uh, well, we've got all the kids out here with the exception of David and Daphne. Uh, we have them inside just because of the weather today. What happens is because they were pulled from their mom, uh, they, uh, their mom wasn't producing enough milk and she had pink eye. Uh, so we uh, bottle fed them. And what they do is they just kind of hang over at the gate uh, over there uh, and wait for us to come out because they know where we are and they can stay out in the rain and we don't want that so we have just got them inside uh, the kids are now about two and a half months old uh, so they will stay with us until around uh, probably mid August mid to late August and then they'll head off to their new homes so this week has been a very busy week. Uh, I've, this will be the fifth video in a week. Uh, so with sheep shearing and uh, Tara had uh, started a garden vlog this week. Uh, and then uh, Tara and Tiana took the camera out to do a feeding as well. If you haven't seen those videos, uh, check those out. Uh, I know uh, I, sometimes I put out uh, some midweek videos. Now that it's summer, nicer weather, uh, the days are longer. It's a little easier to put out some of this content. Uh, just more things happen during the warmer months. Oh, I hear some thunder. We better uh, get this show on the road. So this is where the kids spend their time. And Sheldon, hey buddy. <laughs> uh, so it looks like most of them came in. There's only uh, a couple that are outside. Uh, so we've got this area cordoned off. Uh, and here are the sheep. So this is uh, JJ here. Hi, JJ. Hi. Uh, and then uh, we have Willow over here. Uh, so they look a little bit different than they did uh, a week ago. Oh, and Onyx, our black sheep, <laughs> she was kind of brown with her longer hair. Uh, so that'll be a lot cooler now. Uh, and then we have, uh, who is this? This looks like Turbo. <laughs> Uh, everybody's eating hay. What is Java doing? Java, what are you doing down there? Yeah, you like to lie down and eat, don't you? <laughs> uh, now, somebody had uh, asked, actually a few of you have asked in the comments uh, about why we didn't shear the legs of the uh, alpaca. Uh, so there's a, a couple reasons. Um, one of them is it kind of looks neat. It's a little stylish, kind of that poodle style. Uh, but mainly it's because of bugs and fly season. Uh, so with bugs around, they tend to really get in uh, on the back legs and annoy them. Uh, so we, uh, we chose just to do the, um, the backs and the necks. 
All right, so this is a better view. Um, the, uh, the lighting was horrible the other way. So you can see here how they, um, how they have been shorn, and that was Wednesday that that happened. Uh, so their wool will grow the most or the quickest during the first 24 to 48 hours after being shorn. Uh, now the concern is, of course, with rain. We don't want them to get wet. We don't want them to get a chill. Um, so we um, generally would lock them up it's a little rainy today. They're staying out of the rain, which is good. Um, but since it's been, um, you know, since it's been almost half a week now, uh, a few days, four days since they've been shorn, uh, it's uh, it's fine. Uh, another question that was asked was, um, you know, what do these sheep do in the wild? Sorry, Java. <laughs> uh, you know, we have to shear them, uh, but why? Do they not get shorn out in the wild, and how do they uh, how do they do that? Uh, well, uh, a lot of sheep breeds now have been genetically altered from their origins uh, to produce more wool and to produce uh, more meat. Uh, so, a wild where is Bronwyn? Uh, Bronwyn is a, a wooled sheep, or sorry, a haired sheep, uh, and she actually sheds off. She must be in the back. Um, here we've got Tinker over here, and we've got George over here. Okay, I found Bronwyn. <laughs> she usually doesn't stray too far. <laughs> She's over here with the alpaca. All right, so you can see uh, Bronwyn, and she is, the best we can come up with is, is a Dorper cross. Uh, so a Dorper is a hit. What are you doing, Paula? <laughs> Stick your whole head in there. Uh, Dorper is um, a haired sheep. Uh, now she doesn't look exactly like a Dorper. She's probably been crossed with a uh, another sheep, but she still retains that hair, uh, that shedding of the hair, which comes off in clumps, which you can see here. So it just comes off and sheds like that. So she doesn't need uh, shearing, uh, and she'll lose all of this, uh, all of this wool or hair. Um, in uh, in time, she looks a little rough now. Kind of her molting season. <laughs> All right, coming into the barn, here is David and Daphne. <laughs> so they're hanging out nice and dry and comfy in here. Uh, and uh, down at the end here, we have our three new sheep that came in a couple weeks ago. Uh, so let me get this straight with their. Now that they've been shorn, uh, it looks like Bridget is the back one, and Bob, oh, I believe Bob is this one, <laughs> and uh, Blanche is that one over there. Uh, so these three sheep uh, have found a home, and what we do is because we only uh, can have a certain number of animals on our farm, uh, due to the acreage, there's a calculation that occurs. Hi, Bridget. Um, we have to kind of manage our, uh, manage our flock, so to speak. Uh, so we have a group of, or we have a list of people uh, that we, um, we keep track of and animals that they're looking for. Uh, and when animals come in, um, we'll contact them and say, okay, we've got, you know, we've got some sheep uh, that come in. Uh, then they'll come and, and check them out, and um, we find them new homes that way. Um, so we're just being, you know, well, we, Tara, is being proactive. She's, uh, she's doing good at that. She um, checks out their Facebook page and checks out what kind of yard they have to make sure that, you know, it is uh, a, a good yard. And then any tips... Uh, or information that they need to take care of the animals if they're maybe new at it. Uh, some have had some animals and just want to kind of add to their uh, to their flock. Uh, so these three will be heading out, I believe, Wednesday, midweek. I could be wrong, but sometime uh, during the next week. Uh, and they are also being joined by Cheech and Chong, which is the other one. I don't know where he is. I think this is Cheech here. Where's your buddy? Where's Chong? So uh, Cheech and Chong are male Drake Muscovies. 
Uh, they are uh, they're pretty friendly. You know, you can get pretty close to them. Uh, petting them isn't really an option. Really, there's not many birds that do like to be pet. Um, you can if you hand raise them, um, like Ritzy. Ritzy was uh, the Pekin duck that we first saw. Um, not so much petting, but uh, you know he'll let you get really close and come up and cuddle you. Um, they're more of a uh, a petter than a petty, I guess you could say. <laughs> Hey, bud, let's go see if we can find your brother. Yes, so he's a chocolate Muscovy. Um, now, he's moving his wings like that. Usually, it's uh, to keep cool, but it is fairly cool today. So, he might be just uh, airing out his body because he is a little wet. Billy, how you doing, buddy? Hey, how are you doing? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that was... That was... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty embarrassing, wasn't it? <laughs> I think he was trying to trying to uh, peck me. And Fernando! <laughs> Hi, bud! You staying dry as well, aren't you? Have you seen Chong around anywhere? Anywhere? No? Okay, well. We've got our rabbits in here. Uh, so we've got our female rabbits all in here. Uh, and uh, I believe... Yes, we have one male rabbit here. So from time to time, we do get rabbits in. Uh, most of the time, it's because uh, people are moving uh, or uh, people have got two rabbits thinking they were male or female. Uh, male pair and a female pair, but it turns out one was a male and one was a female. And then, of course, they get little ones. So... Uh, what are you two doing? Okay, so let's talk about this. <laughs> um, people say, how do your roosters ever get along? Uh, well, they get along good for the most part. And now they have space to kind of get away. Uh, they will fight. Look at this. Easy. Okay. Billy, you're not, you're not the head of the... You're not alpha anymore. <laughs> this is probably why Billy goes and hangs out. Yeah, he's going back in. <laughs> this is probably why Billy goes in um, and hangs out with the rabbits. You need some help, buddy? He's like, I just want to get in with my female rabbit friend. Here, here, here. here. no, no. Come. Okay, come here. Oh, here. There you go. Oh, you don't want to get... You don't want to get beat up. <laughs> okay, so that's why he hangs out with the rabbits. All right, so as I was saying, uh, for the most part, there's no fighting. There's no, or very rarely, extremely rare, that we ever have any injuries. Uh, because of the space they have, you know, Billy can go in with the rabbits and he's got his crew and he's got his buddies in there. But of course, when he comes out, He's kind of a new rooster to this area. So the roosters that are in this area have their own hierarchy. Uh, and it looks like uh, this big boy here is, uh, is the king of the, king of the roost. And then of course these little guys. So these little minions. <laughs> so everybody's happy in this area, but as soon as a new rooster comes in that they don't know, they have to tell that rooster who is boss. Uh, and then once he understands who boss is, uh, then he takes that lower position in the hierarchy. So you can see now that Billy's out, uh, everything is kind of back to normal. So Tara is out, doing the water. Hi, Fernando. Fernando's eyeing her up. Now, Fernando's been been kind of a pain lately. He only does it with Tiana and Tara. It's, uh, you know, I've said it before, biting the hand that feeds them. <laughs> oh, oh, animals. They're so, uh, they're so interesting. <laughs> he's what? He's tormenting. Yeah, he's tormenting. Yeah, but uh, the uh, the big thing is you just you know take it with a grain of salt. You push him away. 
you don't run away. And this is, this is again getting back to that alpha. So he's trying to push in to tell her that, hey, I'm alpha. And he's not. And he's not. So we just um, reinforce that. Is that an egg? That looks like a uh, Muscovy. Yeah. Have you seen Chong around anywhere? Cheech and Chong. Well, we've seen Cheech. Is he back with that yeah, big group? he might be back with the other group out back. Great big conversation yesterday. Yeah, so he's probably back. Uh, so getting back to the roosters, we have other roosters Ooh. here. And what? Yeah, oh, the grass. grass. Yeah, the grass growing up there. Well, it's probably oats and wheat. Yeah. But still, that's nice. So the roosters in this area have their own alpha. <laughs> and Fernando, you're such a silly boy, aren't you? And then, of course, the roosters in this area have their own alpha, and then Billy's over there. He's digging a hole. You see the jerk. Okay, there's Sebastian. So, our Sebastopol goose. And then we've got uh, Glenn. And I believe that's George over there. Clover. That would be nice. Oh, yeah, all the new growth yeah, happening. The clover and... Clover is uh, really good if you're planting anything uh, to, to uh, like a, a septic field, for example. These... Uh, clover has a really good root system. I don't know so... what these little guys here are. They come in... I'm wondering if it's a duckweed, but it's just really wet. But, hmm. but it's nice to see because this has... Look at it. Yeah, and this is what we've kind of hoped for is, uh, is the grass to start, yeah. start growing. So... Uh, there's Gwen over there, and then we've got uh, Cheese and Quackers. Sam. And Sam. Uh, I'm sorry, that's not Sam. No. That's Sam and Selena. Oh, Sa yeah. A little bit more white yeah. on Sam. Yeah. Um, do we know this one's name? Some of them don't have names. <laughs> Some of them do. No, I'm blank, though. Yeah. Uh, most of the uh, male Drake Muscovies have them. When you see them, them. In, together, it just comes to your brain, right? Yeah. yeah. Hunter. Oh, yes. Hunter. Yeah, <laughs> Hunter. and yeah, exactly. It just kind of comes. So there's a few more back uh, further that I can see. Yeah. Uh, so Chong must be must be back with uh, with them. So. Well, they've kind of separated now that it... Cheese and Quackers, they don't care about the girls. No. They're bros. Yeah. <laughs> well, Cheech and Chong, when, when the girls are, like, there's a couple chocolate girls. Well, the chocolate ones, they really, like, and they'll separate. Yeah, even further, look. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. There's a have few. Have you walked back here? Um, I have. I to see how the grass was growing. It's grown. nice and green, for sure. Yeah. There's a rowan. Not a, not a mallard. Smack, uh, smack, and pies. Looks uh, looks like a mallard, but the uh, rowan ducks are quite a bit larger. This is Mac Mac here. Oh, is that Kai? Oh, it is green head. Oh, yeah. So the males will have the green head. It was a little hard to see in this lighting, uh, and the curly drake feather on the back. So that's Kai. He's been around for quite some time. So he's a Cayuga duck. He was our very first Cayuga. Yes, and then we've got. Uh, Mac yeah, Mac, which is the, the female. Dots. Like the little tiny plants that are growing. So what we've done over the years is uh, cleared this out. And they, of course, the animals have helped us tremendously in this. Uh, and that allows the light to get in to actually grow some Whoa. of this grass. Uh, oh, so animals, uh, just another example of how animals are uh, helping us with... Uh, with our property. Yeah, it's interesting what there's all those Yeah, see problems. we've got Muscovies all, all back in here. <laughs> there's well, back in there, they're, uh, they're actually all over. <laughs> um, lots of moss too with that with the moisture. Um, we, we leave these for the wildlife, chipmunks, the squirrels, the mice, so that they don't like, you know, go to our house or the barn. No, oh, I think, uh, I think they think they're getting something. Right? Come on, kids. <laughs> All right, well, it's starting to rain now. And these mosquitoes, yeah, Tara's garden. So, like I said, if you didn't see that video, uh, go check out uh, Tara's video on her uh, starting up her garden. 
taking so she's, a break uh, now. Yeah, she's taking a break due to the rain, <laughs> but she's got all of that area kind of done and planted. What is this? We've got fledglings. I don't know if that's a fledgling. It looks like a little fled. Well, no. It... Hey, buddy, what are you doing? Come here. What is it? You don't look like a fledgling. Can you fly? Here. Let's put you somewhere. Let's put you up here. Huh. Doesn't look like he can fly. Okay. Well. <laughs> Sometimes you get... Uh, you're a young one, aren't you? <laughs> Sometimes you get birds that, uh, that we find here, especially with all the birds around. Uh, little um, fledglings uh, that jump the nest maybe too early. Levi, how you doing, buddy? Looks like you guys are dry, so you've been inside. That's a good boy. Yeah. Meadow, Meadow was rolling around yesterday in the dirt, but she cleaned up nicely. Good girl. Hey, yeah. And Carl. Hey, bud. How you doing? How's my boy, hey? How's my boy? <laughs> uh, I think that's still Chong. Or Cheech. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and Billy. Hey, bud. Yes. So everybody's relatively dry, it looks like. So they've been inside. Uh, and they will usually hang out um, in this building uh, or their uh, other one over here. Okay, so we've got Daisy. Uh, you can see this pink lie flat hose. So this is the hose that we've been using to uh, pump the pond out as it gets full, just because it hasn't been exiting this trench as fast as it should. Um, you know, it's got a bunch of debris in here. We want to go and kind of clean this up this summer once things dry out. Um, so it uh, it's helped out tremendously, but um, having this uh, lie flat hose pumping out for a few days uh, has really helped out. Hi Daisy. How you doing girl? Yeah. Get that for you. The uh, the hair, people have asked about braiding it. Uh, but again, flies. Like the hair really helps her out with um, keeping the flies away from her eyes. So, and it doesn't uh, grow like that on uh, Levi. Just seems like Daisy. <laughs> I guess just different different hairstyles, just like humans. Uh, we all have, uh, you know, some naturally curly and some naturally straight and, um, but, uh, but yeah, that's one of the reasons why we don't really braid her hair out. Uh, sometimes we do, but uh, she can still see, she makes her way around fine. All right, guys, it's starting to rain. I'm starting to get bit by mosquitoes. You guys enjoy your tree. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, chewing the bark off of the tree, I guess. Uh, this was a um, pine tree that we had thrown in uh, because uh, pine needles are a great natural dewormer. Uh, but then now there's just a couple uh, trees around. What? What? Oh, yes, I know. Do I need to spend more time with you guys? Billy, what are you doing? You're pulling up my pants. You boys, you don't get enough attention. Is that it? <laughs> uh, yeah, they uh, they do enjoy they do enjoy our time together, don't you? But you sometimes nibble, you lick, you don't bite. Yes, good boy. So I was going through my videos, um, and I just wanted to know, you know when did I start vlogging? Um, and it turns out, uh, June first, uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, marked the sixth year that I've been doing weekly Sunday vlogs. It doesn't seem that long. And I know um, there's quite a few of you that have uh, been with our channel since, uh, since right at the early stages. Um, and I, I thank you guys for, for hanging around. Uh, I enjoy making content. Um, it kind of started out as uh, keeping family updated, um, making these vlogs, and then you guys kind of jumped in started enjoying the content, uh, which kind of pushed me to make more content. 
um, and that would explain also uh, with the uh, the garden um, terrace garden vlog so we want to start doing that as well so the plan is that we would do Sunday videos as normal go out and check the animals and see what everybody's doing anything that happens it comes up and then maybe a midweek say Wednesdays Thursdays um, we would do a garden update uh, instead of doing it like we did last year that pushed the videos quite long some people maybe just want to see the animals some people maybe just want to see the garden um, so what we may do what you can watch for is a garden video uh, midweek and then uh, the animal video every Sunday with of course uh, some exceptions when some things happen uh, then I'll maybe post a couple videos like I have this past week uh, so that's it for this video as the rain comes down here on the 10 acre woods uh, I thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video take care and have a wonderful week bye-bye <laughs>